What's up guys, today we'll be doing the best all in one PC, so let's go ahead and get started. So first is the Acer Aspire S24, so this comes in at about $757. Now this does have a really beautiful design, it comes with a 23.8 inch display, it is a full 1080p display, uh, it does have a QI wireless charging as well, you do have the Intel i5-8250U processor along with the built in Intel HD graphics. Uh, so. You do have, now the only thing that you can really knock this all in one for is it does have a slow hard drive and there's actually no touch screen with this guy and the webcam isn't that great of a quality. But if you look past all that, it does have some really great specs uh, that are really feature proof. All right, so next we have the Apple iMac 5K Retina display. So this has a 27 inch 5K Retina display and that is 5120 by 2880. And this is a awesome, awesome little uh, all in one. So it does have a Siri built into it, the Intel Core i7 processor along with ADM Radeon Pro 580 graphics. Uh, so this is not really a gaming computer. Uh, this is really a editing and a, a sort of Adobe artwork sort of stuff like that. So there is no touch screen on here and you can't use the magic mouse when it's actually charging and there's no high adjustment uh, for it. So Otherwise, it's a really excellent computer, uh, one of the best for professional editing and photo editing. Now, next is the Microsoft Surface Studio. Uh, so if you get it renewed, it comes in at about uh, 1600 which is a pretty decent price for this computer. Uh, so you do have the Intel Core i5, 8 gigabytes of RAM, and a 1 terabyte hard drive. Uh, so this does include the Surface Pen, the Surface Keyboard, and the Surface Mouse with the zero gravity hinge to be able to move the display. It is a 28 inch uh, pixel sensitive display uh, so it's a very nice display it does have an nvidia geforce uh, dgpu processor as well so this is a really nice machine to draw in and you can also do video editing but it's geared towards more artists and stuff like that uh, so i really like this machine for that and you're able to adjust that hinge and it just makes for a really seamless experience if you're an artist all right so next is the dell xps 27 inch uh, so i like this one because of the uh, design it has actually gave, gives some effort with the speakers as you can see you got six speakers on the front uh, so this does have the intel core i7 processor 16 gigabytes of ram two terabyte hard drive and you also have a 32 gigabyte ssd uh, so what I really like about this is the adjustable hinge on here as well. Uh, so as you can see, it does come at a pretty uh, hefty price of 1900. You're getting some really solid looking hardware. Uh, so the mouse on here looks weird, but but it is very comfortable to use. So this is really great, not just for uh, video editing, photo editing, but also for making music as well with those built-in speakers. So if you use FL Studio, this will be a great all-in-one for you. So last on my list is going to be the cheapest one, the Apple iMac 21.5 inch uh, so this comes in at about 490 and this is for the uh, beginner that's getting into video editing uh, making music garage band stuff like that uh, this is definitely for you so it has the Intel i5 processor clocked at 2.7 gigahertz you have 8 gigabytes of RAM and 1 terabyte hard drive uh, so this does come with Mac OS Mountain Lion uh, so this is just a great little computer a great entry-level computer as you can see so if you've never had a Mac I don't recommend spending a whole bunch of money yet uh, because you can upgrade this a little bit if you want to beef it up uh, but definitely look at this one because this has some pretty great specs you'll be able to run all the programs that you need no problem uh, so thanks for watching this video and i will catch you guys in the next one